goodbye. Answer my riddle and live. But get it wrong and you die. Riddle me this. What's nine plus ten? <laughs> Twenty-one? You're stupid. What's going on you guys? It's your boy Airsoft Asian here and today I am a bit late to the party but I have a treat for you guys. It's the Batman limited edition Dr. Squatch special collection soap. Uh, I just got this in today. I decided to get it, do a review on it. I know it's been a while since I've done the last review but uh, we're coming back this year with a few good video reviews. We're going to try to shy off a bit of uh, Dr. Squatch for a bit. I'm going to focus on a new company, uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, uh, PAA, or phoenixshaving.com. Uh, we're going to definitely go with that and see what we can do for those reviews. Uh, let's get right into the review. Uh, I haven't opened this yet, so I haven't seen what it mostly is. I haven't smelled the soaps. I haven't really seen anything based on it uh but let's get right into it and there we go you get two bars uh the batman brick and the riddler enigma uh justice vengeance the batman uh, apparently there is a hidden message in here and apparently these boxes under uv light actually glow in the dark which is pretty cool apparently there is a riddle in here or some sort of thing that gives the riddler enigma's scent uh to get you have to know it doesn't tell you what the scent is but they definitely need to tell you that but whatever it's a riddle it's made for you to find out uh but yeah let's start with the batman brick all right so i like the design i like uh the new batman robert Pattinson is uh i have to say one of the better batmans so far it was a great movie. I went to go see it. Um, definitely recommend it. every one of you watch the movie. It's pretty sick. Uh, apparently, this ring glows in the dark as well as the logo. But limited edition uh, men's natural. Uh, the Batman Brig. Life of Man medium grit. Five ounce. And let's see. So on the side we have. Oh, no. It's a bent corner paper. Damn it. Fixed. Alright, lather it up. Scrub yourself. Rinse and repeat. Catch us on the wild. Catch us in the wild. <laughs> Dr. Squatch. DrSquatch.com. Awesome. So, yeah. And uh, meet me in the shadows. You guys can see all that. So, yeah. Apparently, SK Parvis Mag. Nah. Maybe some sort of clue. Maybe glow in the dark. Maybe it glows in the dark and it gives you a word or something. We'll find that out later. Alright, then Riddler Enigma. We're doing a short review, guys. It's, uh,. There's not a lot here to work off of, but yeah, it's a pretty good start. Um, Riddler Enigma. Uh, let's see. Pretty good. Devil's Plaything. Zero Grit. So this says Zero Grit, but apparently people are getting grit inside their bar and they don't know. So maybe it's like a, a light grit, but they just didn't put that in. What's this? It's the same thing. Okay. Goldenrod power. Okay. So apparently we're playing Minecraft. Uh, we're making potions now. Okay. Smells like question mark. So intense, devious, puzzling, just like a Squatchman should be. All right. And they last about 24 months. So nice. That's awesome. And DC, Warner Brothers, 17 plus. Cool, and it's owned by DC, obviously, and Warner Bros. All right, let's get into bars. Let's open them up, and let's see what the smell test is going to be. We'll start off with the Batman. All right, and here it is. It is black and gray, so that's definitely a new color change. Good swirl. I like the alien-type look. See the eyes. and It's uh, 
pretty soft. It's got some indentation I can do to it. Soft. So yeah, let's smell it. Oh man, that smells really good. But that smells like... It legit smells like an Air Febreze air freshener from 2009. <laughs> Which is uh, interesting. It's very floral. It smells very floral. But definitely has an Air Febreze, like, back in the day, like, plug-in-the-wall type scent. It's, uh, it's alright. It's definitely a good bar. Floral, which I like. I like floral scents, and it's very strong along that. That's really good. Uh, yeah, good size. I think they're finally measuring these bars out quite good now. I haven't bought Dr. Squatch in a while. I'm just... This year, guys, we're just going to buy the new ones. Uh, they released a beef jerky one, but I'm not going to get that because I think that's just a waste. And we're just going to buy stuff that's more practical for it, um, for the reviews. So, yeah, this looks really good. I ain't going to lie. It smells really good. The feels good. No grit. I feel, I feel like once I use this, it's going to be a great bar. Let's go to a Riddler Enigma. All right, and here's the Riddler's Enigma. Very interesting, obviously green. Um, let's get a smell test. Ooh, okay. So this has like... Interesting. It's like also like a 2009 Febreze air freshener you get at Walmart, but it smells really good. By the way, they sell Dr. Squatch at Walmart now, so pretty cool. This smells like apple mixed with something. Like, there's definitely, like, grit in here. There's definitely something in there. Because I feel a little bit of, like, top scratch. So, it smells really wonderful. It's Both of these bricks have done really well with, like, maybe a fruit. This one's more fruity than the Batman brick. But this one smells like it's also got a floral note in there. Maybe some sort of a daisy type smell which is really good um yeah it's all i could say is this is a great brick it this is a great pack it, honestly in general price alone's really good it's only 20 bucks not a bad price the quality is amazing like always you you get to find out the puzzle at the you know you get to find out the puzzle in the box and you try to find out what it is so in all, I think this is definitely worth the buy. It's going to be out for a little bit, so get it while you can. Um, it's glad to make another video for you guys. Uh, I just want to say thank you. Like, subscribe, and check out everything else I do on my channel. More reviews will be coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks, guys. Have a good one. Peace. <laughs> what is the price for your blind I'm out here. Oh. Uh -oh. Richard. <laughs> the hell are you supposed to be?